send dandelion greens for dinner. Utter rubbish, I say utter. <laughs> Countess Gridiola Selfislova, the convener of our board, would like to place her thoughts <laughs> on this grave matter. Countess? I wonder what the world is coming to. Who put such ridiculous ideas in children's heads? Must be the crop of these modern teachers. There's this particular school in India that I've heard of. The Zirubai Ambani International School. They are known all over for putting only the right ideas in their students' heads. Dare to dream, learn to excel is their motto. Education must not be static. It must continuously evolve, they say. And the children, they go revolving around the globe in a mad rush to improve the world, making our lives miserable in the process. Really? Atrocious. I support what the Countess proposed. I haven't really proposed anything as yet, but thank you for your support anyway, Mr. Shifty No Good. I propose that we must get the children to come here. We must tempt them away from their road to perfection and bring them to a palace of temptation. Great idea. We'll grab the kids. Lady Grabber, do not always be so besotted with the idea of grabbing. Be more subtle, more politically correct. We will entice the kids to come here on their own. What idea? But how? India is so far away. I know how. I am in close touch with the dreaded Transylvanian gang of goons, the Chucklehead clan. We would send them, the masters of craftiness, on our air albatross flight to India. They will waylay the children and induce them to come here voluntarily to our palace of temptation, the place to lead a perfect life filled with candies and junk food, toys and no school. Which child will be able to resist that? Yippee! You are such an admirably evil genius, Countess. 